Roosevelt with Auto Network. We're here in Tucson, Arizona with Jeep for the launch of the new 2018 Wrangler. And behind the wheel, I have Trevor. Trevor. Hey there. Who are you? What do you do with Jeep? So I'm Trevor Dorch. I'm the uh, product communications manager for the 2018 Jeep Wrangler, which we're here in right now. We're in the uh, 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, as you can tell is with the red accents here. We're about to take on our off-road course in a uh, 18 Rubicon Wrangler. So uh, let's, uh, let's go for a ride. Great. And what Trevor's going to do is I shoot this video of what's happening off-road. He's going to tell you what's going on from a driver's standpoint and what the vehicle should be doing. Which will be in. Go ahead. So we're approaching the first hill here. And you can see down at my uh, right hand, we have the new placement for the front and rear lockers. It's right here. Now it's just a single switch. If I want to go down, I hit, hit it down once for the rear locker. If I punch the button up, it locks the rear locker. The sway, but, uh, sway bar is already lit, so that means it's already disconnected. So right now we're going to just uh, leave the sway bar disconnected and leave the lockers open for the first part. And we'll go up here and uh, give it a shot. And why are you leaving this sway bar? So the sway bar uh, enables better articulation for the wheel. So okay. instead of rocking you back and forth, it, it improves articulation and gets you to places that a lot of other cars just can't do. Great. So let's go. And that's where we're going at the top of that hill. We have a spotter up there. Made it to the top of the hill. Now we're straight. Again, sway bar still disconnected. The lockers are open. So we're going to take off here. We've got our spotter. It's going to tell us which way to go. Now it's important when you're on the trail to watch the spotter. So it'll give you the direction on where to go. Okay. And the important thing is to go slow. Like that. So now we're going to go down here. Yeah, this is not a race. This is not definitely <laughs> not a race. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to off-roading, right? So you want to make sure you listen to your spotter. You want to go slow. Now, I've heard so, several different ways that you should handle the steering wheel. So there are multiple ways. Now, it's it's really, you know, it kind of depends on how you are and how often you do it. Now, some folks like to keep their hands on the steering wheel and just and just keep shuffling. I have more of a uh, active hands and thumbs. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. And I shuffle back and forth. But the big thing is to never put your thumbs in the steering wheel because when you are, uh, you know, on the spokes here, because if you do that and the, the wheel unwinds, your, your thumbs may not be with on your hands when you get back. So that's so not a fallacy about the possibility of breaking thumbs or... No, no, <laughs> okay. that is true. That is a true, <laughs> real thing. So... Remember that, drivers. Keep your hands off the steering wheel so we're good, you know. So this is actually, this part of the trail was inspired by the Rubicon Trail. We do a lot of our development on the trail and so we do that there. Beautiful. So you make things to go slow, right? Right. Yeah, right here, right? So we just feather the throttle, keep your thumbs out, and you want to keep watching him give you the signs. Slow like that, right? So you can keep the wheel sawed. Nice and slow. Right, step down there. A little more. Like that. See so, you know, how he's directing us like that, and we're through. So there we go. Now we got the Jeep, the Jeep Jamboree guys are Without question, the best in the industry. Oh, and we have them leading us through. <laughs> and speaking of, we have one of our guides right here. Great. So here we go. So now we're going to be climbing this hill here. Yep. More help. You might want to watch from here at this point. Let them you watch his speed, how nice and slow he's going. The slower you go, the better. You just let the Jeep do the work. Exactly right. Don't get in the way of it. That's right. <laughs> Don't get in the way of it. That's a big one. Don't do that. Okay. That's Thank right. you. Thank That's you. That's right. Sean will walk you and put you all the settings you want to be. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, buddy. See you in a bit. Yep. Hold on, let me get set up for you. We're gonna actually we're gonna crawl up to the um, to the uh, guides here, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the rear locker and I'll explain why. Okay. We're gonna do that in a sec. Great. Yeah, I've done the Rubicon. It's something. Well, and Moab. Oh <laughs> yeah, my both, goodness, man, man Moab no joke, is scary. Right? Ooh. Yeah. Gee, I did Moab when Vol Volkswagen launched a Touring. They launched it at Moab. At Moab. Whoa. Good for them. And I said I'd never go back again. <laughs> Two months later, Hummer invited me to go. <laughs> Going back. And the guy with Hummer was pissed at me because I said, we just did this in the Touring. 
Like, yeah, right. He didn't right. believe me. I really? said, go watch oh, the right. video. Yeah, right. You have, you have proof. Like, <laughs> yeah. Come on. I said, go watch the... Yeah. He had somebody to go watch the video, and then the next day he told me, he said, you're right. <laughs> what, what am I? Yeah, come right. On. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but that car was amazing. Was it that? How, how long ago was that? Oh, this was when they when, when the first, first came out. First yeah. came out. I said, that was a "Good car." I said, "We're crazy. This, they've <laughs> never done a vehicle like this, and they're yeah. going to take it out on Moab." To Moab. Yep. So yeah. that was confidence. That that's how yeah. much confidence they had in their, that's in their product. Go. Right. Right. Good for them. I, I, I like the car. <laughs> it's a good car. Oh, it is. It's... I'm sure when you guys first walked it, like really? Yeah, no that's what we said. Yeah. And it was funny. We came in on a jet. We landed. Oh, you went flew right into Moab. And the the pilot hit the runway too fast, oh. so he was trying to brake. And then at the right at, before the end of the runway, uh -huh. we had to make a turn to go over to the to the hangar. Yeah, he missed the turn, <laughs> so it went off into the sand. Oh my gosh! So I have footage. I said, "This is Volkswagen's new off road <laughs> vehicle." And I had a shot of the, the plane. Yeah, yeah. Had, no, this was a full size jet. Oh my gosh. This oh was a 737 gosh. that they flew us out there in. After we did that, they flew oh everybody my. else in small regional jets. I can imagine. Yeah. So I said, this is the new Volkswagen off road vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> the Boeing 737. Right. <laughs> oh, oh it was funny. So let me, okay. So I the, yeah, I wanted to get the experts. Mm. Opinion and what we should be doing with sure. driver and, and what the unit should be doing. Mm -hmm. And he's up there with no doors on. Them. Right. <laughs> that was funny. We're gonna take some doors and tops off. Hey. Right? Windows <laughs> down. I mean, you're a Jeep, man. You gotta do all that stuff, right? <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's how it was in Moab. I'm sure you've been out there, mm. but you don't even you can't even see the spotter. Where you go? Yeah, Very much. That okay. was great. I appreciate Perfect. it. Hey, appreciate it. Anytime. Happy to help. Tell I'll tell Nick he was he's been replaced. He's been replaced. There, there's two <laughs> offer guys on the side. Yeah, right. <laughs> the random the Jeep guy. <laughs> My Nick's great. Actually, yeah. you know. So I used to be a journalist, and actually, I, oh, I've, been, okay. uh, I've been doing this for about three years now. But so who are you who are you writing with? Like? Uh, previously, before I joined, I was with Kelly Blue Book, and then before that, I worked with my oh, friends. So, so you worked with Jack? Oh, Jack was my boss. Yep, Jack is an. Awesome, I used to awesome shoot all the initial video for oh, Kelly okay. Blue Book oh, okay. with Jack at the yep. different auto shows. Sure. Yeah, he would hire me every year to shoot videos. Then Jack they, is awesome. Then they decided to hire their own crew. Yeah, yeah. After they saw that people would watch it, right? Yeah, <laughs> laid the groundwork in the yeah, right. right now. We'll, yeah. Uh, Bring him on staff. Yeah, did a lot of uh, live stuff with him. Oh, sure. Them. Yeah, because I enjoy doing live live stream. Yeah, live oh, yeah, and it's popular. I mean, oh, you're ahead yeah. of the curve. I mean, it's really popular now. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've been live streaming since '94. <laughs> Way ahead with of the dial curve. up modems. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <Gosh. I> mean, <laughs> so people talking about, oh, you can't do this and you can't say, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. So you have no idea right. what you're talking about. Right. Yeah. I said, go look at the video. <laughs> yeah, <they're there. laughs> I don't have time to they're fool there. around with you. Yeah. That's great. Wow, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah, let me know if you need anything else or you know, we oh, yeah. run back out. I don't mind at all. Oh, I'm fine. This I'm is done. fun to me. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is not a work. This is not a job. This is, I get to. That's you know, how I friends, feel about or, you know? shooting video. Yeah, this sure. is fun to me. Right. You know, this is not work. Right. with Auto Network and behind the wheel I have Harold. Harold, we've been on the road most of the day and we just did some off-roading. Give me your thoughts first of the on the road of this new 2018 Wrangler. Well, first impression I had, you know, very solid ride. Uh, things about two inches longer than the prior model and you can feel that. I mean, really good solid ride on the highway. Very quiet. Uh, really like what they've done with the instrument panel, the layout. Everything's easy to get to. Pretty easy to figure out. Right. Except we did find about a 900-page manual in the glove compartment. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and Harold did some great 
off-road driving with uh, he was paying attention to the spotters what do you think about the off-road capabilities well, i'm of just thinking player? about your award-winning photography while i was doing <laughs> that very impressive i think that's the most demanding uh as far as a prepared route uh as i've ever driven on you and i've both done some things like rubicon which is pretty hairy and pretty scary but this was uh really well laid out and also the fact it was mainly rocks so you've got an awful lot of undulation going on and this thing just crawled up just like a champion you know you got a steady foot you just keep on going that's great, great great thank you sir yes sir yeah i must say i've been in the passenger seat for a lot of the time a lot of the, the drive today and i find that the, even in the passenger seat it's it's very comfortable and we've been on some dirt roads again in the passenger seat i'm not doing the bobblehead movement so they've said they've done a lot with the suspension to control that off-roading uh, again riding in the passenger seat and just watching the drivers drive this thing it's the, this is trail rated even though i didn't see trail rated i don't think they have that on the side of this one but and we didn't ask that question right it is trail rated we're going to take, take a right here this should be our 5.6 this is thorny dale we got a little ways to go. Oh, okay. You go through this stop sign. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. But I, th I think that they have a winner here with the 2018 Wrangler. If you go back and watch some of the presentation, I'll have that up after December the 13th, which is the embargo. The embargo ends, and you watch some of the. I guess the accessories are the things that you could do with these Wranglers. I mean, you have the four door, you have the two door, they have a power top now, and all kinds of things that uh, you can really, and they come pretty much, I don't know whether they're optional packages. Did they say they were optional packages, Harold? Like the, the power roof or? I don't think optional, but I think it would be up, the uh, upgrade. Maybe. Upgrade the premium models, yeah. but. There are a lot of things that you can do. They're going, they've gone back where you can, it's easier to take the doors off, things like that, uh, remove the sides. You can actually take the side windows out. Everything's supposed to be a lot easier to do now. But take a look at those videos. Go to autonetwork.com. I'll have those up next week sometime. But as always, please buckle up. Don't drink and drive. Buckle up. Don't text and drive. See you next time.